throw right in the overhead dumbbell press. Yeah, so keep it moving. Yeah. I have a broad back, so you know, doing overhead dumbbell press and uh, shoulder presses are always a lot of fun for me. Gives you those bolder shoulders. <sighs> What's up guys, Dom here back again from The Lethal Fit. And today we are talking about Michael B. Jordan. Celebrity, killer physique right now, most of physique men would love to have. What type of cycle do you have to take to look like that as well? Let's dive right into it. But guys, like I always say before I start every video, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers. That's what we're trying to do. So please subscribe, it means the world to me. A lot of you guys aren't subscribed, but the ones who are, I love you for it because I do watch my subscriber count go up and I do see the comments. Don't think I don't. That's why I always try to apply, reply to every single one. Now I wanna go off by first saying, I don't know if Michael B. Jordan is even on anabolic steroids. He's never come out and said it. He's never come out and said he's taking performance enhancement drugs. He's always said he was natural, but I, don't know if I'm really inclined to believe him. In his earlier career, he's always looked like he was in decent shape, but the type of physique he's packed on for certain movie roles, Creed, or when he was Killmonger in Black Panther, he just looks phenomenal. I'm gonna probably throw up some clips here from Black Panther, some from Creed as well. As you can see, he has gotten just crazy physique, he's got huge shoulders, and for Creed, he kind of cuts down a little bit more. What we're gonna talk about today is pretty much how to achieve a certain physique like this, and what anabolic steroids you need to use. This is not medical advice. Do not listen to what I have to say, or don't do, you can listen, just don't do these things. Check if it's legal in your country. Check with your doctor. The reason being, I don't know Michael B. Jordan. I don't know if he takes things. I don't even know if these are going to necessarily give you that exact same build. But what I can say is how he's actually been sculpted. There's certain anabolic steroids that give you that look. And we're gonna talk about them today, how to run them, how to run them safely, and what I think he is taking to look this way. First things first, you need testosterone. Anabolic testosterone, TRT levels of test, nothing too crazy. Now, the majority of your physique is always going to be how you train. If you're not as lean as him, you do need to be in a calorie deficit. Whether you get into that calorie deficit for, by doing more cardio, or whether you get into that calorie deficit by eating less food, or whether you get into it by being and doing that combination. That is, if you are already too chunky, too much fat on you, the base of how you're going to get this physique. So don't forget that, it's not just the drugs. But what I am gonna say is you always wanna keep tests as a base. You don't need too much for this. We're gonna run this for four months, 16 weeks. All you're gonna need is about 150 milligrams of test a week. I like to run a longer ester, like testosterone and nenthate. I think that gives you the best amount of testosterone and you don't need to inject too often. I like twice a week. So you do 150 milligrams divided by two, two times a week. That's your test base that you're gonna use for this cycle. Now, with that, we're also going to be running another injectable and that's gonna be Mastron and Nenthate. With Mast E, I like to start this with two 100 milligrams. We're going to run it the entire 16 weeks as well. Mastron is an aesthetic. It does have aromatized abilities as well, and it pulls water from the skin. It does not replace an aromatized inhibitor. But with the low dose test, 125 milligrams and the 200 milligrams of Mastron, you should be able to keep your estrogen low enough where you're not going to be seeing any of those side effects strictly from 
the aromatizing abilities from Masteron. Now, the cool thing about Masteron, not only does it make you strong, not only does it make you hard, but it gives you that very chiseled look. Masteron is perfect for that. I would run 200 milligrams of Masteron for the first eight weeks. Then for the last eight weeks, the full 16 week cycle, you're gonna to wanna to titrate up to 300 milligrams of Masteron every single week. Like I said, I like to use the long esters because I don't like to pin all the time. If you do want to run short esters, that's okay as well, but this is a long cycle, 16 weeks, so it will get annoying shooting every other day. Mass D, I think is where you need to go. 200 milligrams a week for the first eight weeks, 300 milligrams a week for the next eight weeks. Orals. We want to have some orals, but nothing too toxic. What I like to see, you don't need too much. It's very small, very minimal, 20 milligrams of Anavar a day. Anavar is gonna make you strong. It's gonna make you harder. It's gonna get, it's fast acting too, boom. All right, it's got a nine hour half-life, so you've got to dose this twice a day. You're gonna run that for the full 16 weeks. 20 milligrams a day, you're gonna look crazy the entire time because you have it working for you and it's not very liver toxic either. So you can run that for the full 16 weeks as long as you don't go over 20 milligrams a day. Anavar is also one of my favorite anabolic steroids and just the cosmetic effect you get from this combination alone is just absolutely crazy and insane. And lastly, for the last eight weeks of your cycle, so you're doing 16 weeks, first eight weeks you're gonna be running the Test E at 125 milligrams, the Mastron at 200 milligrams, and the Anavar 20 milligrams. The Mast and the Test are weekly doses, the Anavar is a daily dose. The last eight weeks, you've already, you've just titrated up your Mastron to 300 milligrams a week, you're gonna throw in 40 milligrams of Proviron. Proviron, I've done videos on this before. I love Proviron. It is a steroid wingman. So you have those hardeners like Mastron and Anavar that are gonna work so much better in conjunction with testosterone. Also, you don't have to up your test dose because when the Proviron comes into it, it's gonna reduce SH, SHBG, sexual hormone binding globulin, and increase the free testosterone bioavailable in the body. So you're gonna get more in layman's terms, of the actual drug with less of the dose because of proviron. Proviron works wonders for this. It's also known as an oral masteron. So it gives you the same hardening and aesthetic effect in conjunction with those other steroids. So when you have the masteron, the anavar, the proviron, and that little bit of base test just to make things work, you come out looking like Adonis Creed and it's just insane. For a lot of people, you're gonna be like, oh my God, four different types of anabolic steroids. People get scared because it's, ooh, it, you, see, you think it's a lot, but the doses are so low and the risk ratio is very low with these combination of anabolic steroids that you should be able to be okay for the entire 16 weeks. Now, you do wanna be doing blood work, obviously, but it's not going to be a crazy cycle. This is more of an intermediate cycle. I would prescribe to somebody, it's definitely not a beginner cycle. If you've never tried steroids before, you don't wanna be doing that combination, but it will get you that grainy, lean physique that people really love. But that's it for today, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, Comment down below this summer. You're going to look your craziest. Until next time, I am out of here. Ciao.